He's a good guy. been around a lot of pastors. Reverend Reed is one of the kind. He's one of the, one of the kind. He can preach and he can teach. I'm going to get to my sermon. When Reverend Reed came here, he held his own when he got here. He didn't rely on Bell Road to take care of him and Sister Reed. He got here, he was able to take care of himself. When he got here, he was driving the Cadillac. That was something that Reverend Reed did. He, you know, he worked, he had a job, and he didn't quit his job because he became a pastor of a church. I'm saying that to say, you don't know how many pastors I know quit their job because of the church. Reverend Reed was smart. He kept on. But thank God for him because he's, uh, like I said, a good man. Thank him for this opportunity. He allowed me to stand here. Not all the pastors and preachers in the world, he called them a little something like me. <laughs> and I'm grateful. Thank you. Sister Reed is a special woman. It takes a special woman to be married to a pastor preacher. Can't be no anybody. It take a special person. They got to smile when they don't want to smile. They got to smile when they know you done talked about them. They still got to smile in their own house. Did I say that right? In their own house, they got to smile. In their own house, they got to still smile when they don't want to. So, Sister Reed is a, is a one of the kind. Over in the midnight hour, when pastor got to go, she got to get out of the bed. And I'm sure it's many times she said, Reverend, go by yourself, because Sister Bay told me. But she get up anyhow, and she go on with me. Thank God for my lovely wife. She's always by my side. Uh, August 23rd has been 23 years we've been married. Holy 
Holy Spirit to have His way, yes. realizing that you're able to do anything with yes. faith, yes. trusting and leaning in the yes. Most of all, let somebody have an ear to hear and a mind to receive. Yes. Come right and say, What must I do to be saved? Yes. These prayers I pray in Jesus' name. morning I will be coming from Genesis 19.26. Genesis 19.26. But his wife looked back from behind and she became a pillar of salt. She would pull the grind part off of it because there was too much fat in between. And I would, I would sit there and look at her, peel the rind off. And the older I got, I realized that fat meat is nothing but grease. Do you ever run into people that you had to tell the same thing over and over again? Because they don't believe fat meat it's greasy. Some people never change. They like never get no higher than what they is, what it is, because they do not believe fat meat is greasy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some of them just don't believe that fat meat is greasy. Out of my 54 years that I have been living, I have never seen them shut this country down. I have never seen that happen. God is, is, is trying and telling us, Pastor Reed said he went to yelling now, telling us. Because people just still don't believe that fat meat is greasy. There has been 45% of churches throughout this country have closed their doors. Though nothing happened under the permission will of the Lord. Churches are not designed to close doors. Matthew 16, verse 15, somewhere in that 20 verse, it says, upon this rock, upon this rock, I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. But the reason churches are closed now because you've got so much wicked things that's going on not doing what God is asking them to do. Yeah, they, they, they going out of business. Bear Road, you are blessed to have Pastor Reed. You be blessed. And so many churches don't have, have clothes because they can't afford to pay their bills. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was I was uh, uh, I was uh, moving some a couple weeks ago and Sister Paige kept telling me don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. And uh, I end up doing it in the house. She said, we get the boys on, let them do it. I end up getting it, Sister Reed picked it up. And as soon as I picked it up, it cut me right across my leg. I had to go to the hospital and get some stitches in my leg because I didn't bleed. Fat me was green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She didn't, she didn't, she didn't, she didn't even say that when I cut myself. You know how mama them just used to look at you? She didn't say I told you so. She just looked at me and I already knew what she was talking about. I was going down the highway one day and I got this car got some pipes on it. And I love to hear these pipes. Yeah, right. Yes, sir. Mrs. Page always tell me, don't speak. Slow down. 
She was at home, she was at work, I lost that day. And I'm going down the highway, I'm going down, get jump on 79, matched on a little bit. Man, I have to, the, the day was nice, the wind was blowing, and I ain't got a care in the world, I'm just riding, and not knowing that soon as I look up, guess who was in my mirror? Oh. The red lights. <laughs> and the first person I called was Sister Paige. Uh -huh. I said, Lord, have mercy. Then I pick up the phone and I, I FaceTime her, actually. And I said, baby, I don't need you to say nothing because I know what she was going to go with that. I said, I just need you to listen to me. I said, the police have state troopers stop me up here on 79. I said, I'm calling you because I just want you to stay on the phone because I don't, I don't know if he's going to take me to jail or what. I got a company I work for. I can't get no ticket. So I'm going crazy. And she's like, what happened? What happened? I said, I'm speeding. She said, speed I said, yeah. I said, he walking up to the car now. So he come up to the car, and he said, license been shown. So I gave it to him, and uh, he come back to the car. He said, the speed that you was going, you know, you really can, I can take you to jail. I said, sir, I said, I'm sorry. Whatever I, whatever I got coming to me, I mean, give it to me. I'm, a, I'm 100 with him because I was wrong. So he goes, he comes back, so this page is on the phone with me. She mad. She, 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 he come back to the car. He says, sir, you know what? I'm going to give you a ticket, but I'm going to cut it down where it won't. You, I see you got a CDL license, so you will be, you won't be. I still had it. That ticket still cost me some money, y'all. It wasn't free. Right. And, then, <laughs> and then I had to hire a lawyer to get the ticket taken care of. You know how it goes. And then um, when he walked, he said, man, I wanted to, when he got ready to leave, he said, I wanted to tell you, you got a nice looking car. I told Sister Pay, he should have told me that before he wrote me the ticket. <laughs> but I didn't believe fat me was crazy. Because she has been telling me to slow down. And I didn't believe fat me was crazy. But here, here, here Jesus, over in Luke 17, 32, in the context, he warned his disciples about difficult times that in the future, yeah. the Son of Man will return. He told them to remember Lot wife. Yeah, he said, remember, he said, remember Lot wife. Yeah, he, he, he wanted to, he would put something on their mind. When I come back, you see what I did to Solomon and Gomorrah. Even after they had been told by actually angels that God's judgment was coming upon Solomon. Lot and his wife and family did not leave easily. You know, it's something, it's something about when we in our mess and we, we don't want to come out of it. And God sent us warnings after warnings to try to get our attention to bring us out of whatever mess you in. Yeah, yeah, whatever. This, this one lady at the church, she she always in tour with somebody. And she said one day, she said, Reverend, so and so, I just look at her, I don't say nothing. She said, Reverend, so and so, so and so. I wanted to tell them, they ain't the problem. Right. You are. Because you've been in tour with everybody in the church. And there's always somebody else's problem. She don't believe. Fat me greasy. She don't believe. She didn't believe fat me greasy. But here, here is that we that God was uh, merciful. The angels forbid it rescuing Abraham relatives from the city. Right. After, after they went out, the angels gave them very specific instruction. Mm -hmm. Run for your life. Yeah. Don't look back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so it's something. When God brings us out of a situation and, and you say, Lord, thank you, but you turn around and get right back yeah. in the same situation that you was in. So, 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 so my wife, with the thing that was going on in that city, uh -huh. and she heard the screaming and the yelling, she disobeyed, disobeyed what God was telling her. Uh -huh. There's consequences when you don't obey what God is saying. That's a, I, I, I rather for my parents to, to, to whoop me to have God on my back. I, I, I dug down in the scriptures and I went to Numbers 
11 and 1. When the people complained, God burned them to death. Numbers 11 and 33. When the flesh was still between their teeth, the Lord smoked them with a very great plague. Yes, sir. Numbers 16 and 27, 3 and 9. God burned 250 people to death for burning incense. Yes, sir. Second Samuel 6, 6 and 7. God killed Elijah for trying to keep the ark from falling. Yes, sir. Ain't the Lord all right? Yes, First King 20, 35 through 36. God sent a lion to kill a man for smitting a prophet. Ain't yes, the Lord all right? 2 Kings 2, 23 and 24, God sent bears to kill 42 men for making fun of the prophet, right. calling him bald head. Right. Ain't the Lord all right? Yeah. No, Lord. He was trying to tell them it's going to rain. But they didn't bleed. In fact, me was grieved. Right. Abraham learned about God's plan to destroy Solomon and Gabor because they had very wicked people living in the city. Yeah. Chapter 18 says that Abraham pleaded with God not to destroy the city if he could find 50 righteous people. Yeah. Ain't the Lord all right? Yeah. Ain't he all right? Yeah. Ain't he all right? Yeah. I come to tell you, Bill, bro, uh, that the Lord is sitting high and looking low. Uh, Abraham pleaded with the Lord said, if I can find 50 right folks. And Abraham wasn't looking for the 50 folks that he couldn't find. Ain't the Lord all right? He went back to God and started pleading with God and saying, Lord, I couldn't find 50 right people. So the Lord, Abraham asked the Lord, if I find 40 righteous people, would you save the city? The Lord agreed. Abraham went back looking for 45 righteous people. Ain't the Lord all right? Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Abraham went back, couldn't find 40 righteous people. And he went back looking again. And he asked the Lord, if I find 30 righteous folks, would you say, save this city? He didn't find 30 righteous folks. So he went back to the Lord again. And he asked the Lord, if he find 10 righteous folks. Would you save this city? He still couldn't find 10 righteous folks. Ain't the Lord all right? Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? So Abraham went back and asked the Lord if he find five righteous people. Would he save the city? Abraham begged the Lord to not destroy the city. But Abraham went back and only found four good people. That were Lot, his wife, and their two daughters. Ain't the Lord all right? Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? I'm so glad that I learned to not to disobey God because he's in control. He sit high and he look low. He see everything that you're doing. But I tell you right now today, Bell Road, you got to bleed Fat me is grief. For the Lord said, when I come back, I'm coming for the church without a spot or a ring. I declare you to turn it over to the Lord. Because he's sitting high and he's coming back again. And you're going to be caught up in that rapture. I come to tell you this morning, Bear Road, that I bleed fat me grief. It took me some time in my life to realize the God that I serve. He's a true and a living God. He's a forgiving God. And I dare you to get on your knees. Tell the Lord all about your trouble. He will come and see about you. How you know you'll see about you? Because I look at me. One fit to live. Scared of dying. But the Lord came in my life. He picked me up. He turned me around. He took the old clothes off. He dressed me up for him. Yeah. I should have been dead yeah. in my grave. Yeah. But the Lord said, no, I got something for you. Yeah. I'm thankful that I believe fat me greasy. Yeah. I'm so glad to come yeah. over and tell you, yeah. keep on serving the true living God. Yeah. You don't have a reason not to. Yeah. 
Pastor Reed is preaching every Sunday the gospel of the good news. Yeah. So you all to get on the train. When I was a kid, that was a song they used to sing. They say, come on, get on the morning train. The evening train might be too late. I come to tell you this morning, trust and believe in God. And look at all what's going around this country. God is trying to get our attention. You ain't even safe in the church no more. You ain't safe in your home no more. The Bible is fulfilling itself. But go to Revelation. It's speaking of all these days and times that's going to come. I dare you to trust and lean and depend on the Lord. And you all right. 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 I need about five or six people if you really know who I'm talking about. Wave your hands in the air and ask the Lord to forgive you of your sin. Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? You ought to go home and tell somebody that's always getting on your nerves. Look at them eyeball to eyeball and say, you don't believe that me crazy. But I come to tell you today that the Lord is all right. He's all right with me. I'm so glad one day I was on my way to a burning hell. He stopped by, he stopped by, he stopped by, he stopped by. And y'all right, and y'all right, and y'all right. I'm going to tell you, I'm so glad when he went to the grave, he didn't stay there. He stayed there for a little while. But early, 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 for the roof to pull. Early, early, he got out the grave. Not with some power, he got out with all power in his hand. And the Lord all right, and he all right. I'm so glad that he got out the grave. The reason why I'm so glad, because I can get down on my knees. I'm telling the Lord, I thank you for all that you're going to do and all that you have done. And he all right, and he all right, and he all right. 